This is a um, MTL1 inhibitor that um, uh, I presented uh, data on at uh, uh, EHA 2023. Um, as we know that uh, BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax is commonly used in the frontline setting for older patients, and generally um, you can have resistance to this, and MCL1 inhibition has been um, you know, touted as like the downstream effect, something that these um, agents uh, would work. Um, one of the um, toxicity aspects of the drug is that these, in, these um, receptors are present in the heart as well, so there was always concern that um, could it be uh, uh, associated with some cardio um, toxicity. So this was um, data um, on the phase one study where we, um, uh, it's a clinical trial um, that uh, put patients either in monotherapy or in combination with venetoclax. And although there were responses seen in the MDS um, patients, um, what we also observed was a dose-dependent increase in uh, troponin release, um, with the, which was associated with the drug. What was interesting is that half of the patients actually had troponin um, leaks even before the drug, so it is kind of underscores the kind of population that goes perhaps into um, trials. But nevertheless, there was a dose-dependent um, you know, toxicity of, uh, of uh, asymptomatic troponin one in elevation with one patient actually having myocarditis. So this drug is not um, in development um, anymore, but this is a, a global question on a lot of MCL inhibitors that are being developed. That is the cardiotoxicity, uh, a major concern across all these drugs. And if, if these inhibitors are going to go forward in clinical trials, how do you prevent these, um, these uh, side effects?